Hello folks and welcome back to the Vertigo Tea Party and Let's Play Fallout 4. Today's episode is brought to you by Asger. Thank you very much, Asger, for your continued support on Patreon. I very much appreciate it. So, uh, today the quest we are going to do is out in left field. We just got that quest. It was from the guy selling the crazy baseball bats over in Diamond City. Before we go, though... Kind of wanted to show you uh, just looking for a hand. our progress here. I, I don't think I showed you this. We talked about it, but I got my three shops set up. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually build a base like where this house used to be. Nice day. So get Go some ahead. walls up, a ceiling. Go I might even give it a second off. floor, depending. But I'd like to yeah, give these fine. guys some shelter from the rain and uh, definitely when there was there's a rad storm. Don't want them getting all irradiated to hell and back. As you can see, we're getting a lot of razor grain. I was reading through the help while I was eating, and uh, there's a lot of good info in there. One thing that they mentioned that I don't think they said during Maybe the tutorial is us, that these guys will farm. When, well, when they farm, they not only make sure it grows, but they also harvest it on their own as well. So I don't have to go in and keep grabbing. Oh, hey, thank it's you. That it's dude. like I can finally think straight. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't have to do it manually. They will do that. Also, the happier they are, the more efficient they are as well. Another nice thing is if you highlight someone, it shows what they're assigned to. So as I show, you can see he's showing the razor grain and stuff. Uh, same thing for him, etc. Now he, oh, he's actually helping with the farming. Hmm, I didn't assign him to anything, but hey, whatever. Not going to question it. That's okay. Uh, it also works for like guard towers and stuff like but I would rather it when I highlight it like say it over their name or something like that because a lot of times if I'm looking at them in the bed it's not going to do me a lot of good to highlight the guard tower way down at the end of the, the store here uh, again you can see we got this pretty darn well defensed up here we got like these spotlights and guns there's guns by the river so yeah um, I've started to also I hate how shift makes you stop uh, when you're in this mode. I, I don't understand the logic to that. But anyway, I also kind of short up our defenses here. I've got a tower here. got somebody assigned to it. Got a turret gun down right by the river. So we are pretty damn secure here, which is pretty awesome. I'm really, really, really liking this base building thing. Um, I think we have enough carrots for a while, but... Anyhow, let's go ahead and do this quest. I think there's going to be multiple locations we're going to have to go to. Uh, no, they're all technically all in the same area. Go to Hardware Town. I don't even remember Hardware Town. It was hours ago. I think we were probably around 36 hours into this game now. Craziness. Want to prevent an enemy from fleeing? Cripple their legs. Well, I would if I could. I can't target body parts. However, I am going to try to do more power attacks so that we can do more cripples. I just have to make sure not to blow myself up and have to make sure that I'm tapping it instead of holding it, if that actually matters, which... I have mixed feelings on that. I mean, there's other things, too. We haven't even fully explored Diamond, the Diamond uh, City. You see the last one we tried to pull in? With all the grenades? Uh, I was out doing my rounds. What about him? Well, Becca pulled him into the front of the store, and everything seemed fine, right? He must have got spooked or something, because he suddenly starts throwing grenades everywhere. What? What, what? What'd you guys do? That's the thing. It turns out they weren't grenades at all. They were just rocks. He was making the sounds with his mouth. Pins being pulled all nine yards. <laughs> Fucking nuts. Did you guys take him out? No, we just stood there. We couldn't believe what we were seeing. After he threw about a half a dozen rocks near the back of the store, he started making machine gun noises and backing toward the door. Once he got outside, it sounded like he pretended to get on a motorcycle, <laughs> which of course didn't start right away. <laughs> then he took off toward the freeway at what sounded like full throttle, shifting gears and everything. That's insane. How does someone like that survive out here at all? I don't know. There's some lunatics out there, though. Yeah, there is. Anyway, let's let's do this, Raider Psychos. Hey. Did we put our armor on? I feel like we didn't. Nope. I went ahead and named what I could to Widowmakers because I'm uncre uh, not very creative. Uh, what really sucks, though, is you can't name things that you can't upgrade. 
So like the helmet, for whatever reason, I can't upgrade, so I can't name it. Save for the uniform. So that's kind of a pisser. What do we add as far as damage reduction now? Damn, 111 physical for ballistic and 74 for energy. Radiation is pretty bad right now. Shit, we're all still addicted to drugs, too. Um, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and use that addict all. That's what we have it for. So let's do this. Peekaboo! I see you. He's like, oh Jesus, that hurt. Mm. That hurt even more. You know, we really have not seen much bloody mess lately, and I am disappointed by that. Nice. You gotta stop taking those stupid harnesses and stuff. Tch. I look kind of cool with this, though. Look at my glasses on. I should switch to the bandana. Just because. I don't think... The bandana doesn't actually give us anything. Except makes us look that much cooler, even though it's kind of dark. I still keep forgetting the rest, to Zoom in. Zoom in. There we go. Yeah, I'm not really into the whole third person, because I it's just not as immersive as first person. I just feel like when you're in third, it's like, okay, I'm controlling the character, but I can get more into it if, you know, I'm in first. Obviously, third person from a strategic, tactical, whatever perspective is better. Without question, but first just makes me feel more like I'm in the game. I'm playing the character. Oop, 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 oop. Let's, let's stay the hell away from that. Yeah, we're gonna need an... Well, I was gonna say we're gonna need some armor that's good for anti-radiation, but... I think we're just gonna have to start putting some points in the melee. For areas that are highly radiated and we need to use the power armor. I guess we could use a lot of Radex. To keep it away, but... Mm, I don't know. And it wouldn't hurt to get melee. I have a feeling that at some point, like around 21 or so, we're kind of going to go back to the point where we've got uh, a lot of... We got points, but we don't have anything... Like, we've picked everything that we want, and everything else is unnecessary and or more fluff. Like the, the, the base stuff, right? The base stuff isn't going to really help us a ton. It's good for getting settlers so that we can get certain foods... Which I also forgot to make, damn it. But, um... But, from a gameplay perspective, it's not, you know, super useful. Ooh. It just saves us some running around, like, having to go to various, like... The drug production facilities and all that. The Westing Estates. This is a little bit too easy so far. Not buying this for a second. Nice. The signed catcher's mitts. This is the really old school catcher's mitts. What would be, you know, would be really nice too is a mod. A mod where, unless an item has something that you have marked or tagged, or whatever they call it, you don't pick it up. Because that way you could... What the hell? Get my drink on. Yeah, I'm, go I'm not going to bother getting that Kim Addiction trait. Come on, jackass. Oh, we're going to get in the water here, aren't we? What the... Shit? Oh, it's an egg. Ah, hell. No, don't hatch eggs! I need you. I wish you could do a power attack in bats. Oh, shit. Drug it up. 
in case this guy's a little rough. Find the power attack. That's not working. Power attack does it. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. Staggered his ass too. Oh, no, enough AP. Eh. Wait, crit him. Damn. Ah, there he goes. His mutation. And now he's doing a shitload of damage. Oh shit. Bitch, get disarmed. Oh shit. Damn. What does it friggin' dot us? I swear to God. Do we still have... Okay, we're addicted to alcohol. That's fine. Probably not gonna make this. I don't want to drink the cherry. God damn that mutation shit. I think I was moving around too, that might have dropped my damage resistance. I can't tell if they're just doing an insane amount of damage, or if they're like, getting me with a dot. Cause it seems like, before they mutate, it's like, oh, this is easy, and then all of a sudden they're doing insane damage after the mutation. What are you piece of shit? Get over here, you fuck. I'd like to, you know, if possible. Get them alone, too. You want a power attack? Thank you. Fucking APs. Uh, where's the one that lasts a while? Yeah, there we go. And I will just stick with that for now. Go ahead and heal up. Get that started to heal since it's gonna take for fucking ever. I don't know if we can cri well I guess we can't we should be able to cripple them. As soon as he goes fucking Super Saiyan or whatever it is. Oh, fucking hatchling things. Fucker. Yeah, I wanted to go ahead and trigger the- God damn! Uh, this mutation thing is kind of lame. Oh, I want that. That looks sort of unarmed, right? Yeah, the whole mutation thing is kind of dumb. Yeah, I want the... fucking legendary by himself. Get your ass over here. Tell your little homeboy to piss off. Fuck off. Fucking die, you little bitch. Fucking sitting at zero hit points. Alright. Um. We'll use regular buff out. What is it that gives us damage resistance to? Something gives us damage resistance. Definitely not that. Another beer, sure. Let's use regular jet. Yeah. All right, need to use this. Damn, that put the fucking hurt on him. Yeah. 
Stop blocking with your goddamn shell, asshole. Okay, blocking doesn't work. Maybe another jet? Ooh, that fucking got him. Ah, uh, god damn it. That fucking little duck thing they do that redux or reduces our damage. Um, I would maybe consider switching to the other, like the armor damaging things, but I don't think it'll be worth it. Alright, let's- I wanna pull one of these- if I can pull one of these pieces of shit by themselves, it's the little other fuckhead that's causing the problem. This wouldn't hurt either. You little shit. Nope. Are you fucking shitting me? No. He didn't just fucking dodge that. Of course. Fucking cheesy motherfucker. Alright, reload. Fucking do dodge dodging out of the way. That was fucking bullshit of the mine. He ain't that smart. Give me a break. Alright, let's do that again. Yeah, the legendaries would not be anything if it weren't for that stupid ass, like, mutation, heal them to full, now just make them do an insane amount of damage horseshit that they do. Like, at least make them do something different. Don't just make it, oh, we made them do a lot more damage, and they heal to full. It's like, well, that's lazy. Like, don't do that. Like, make it at least somewhat interesting. <sighs> okay. Alright, it is hold. I swear I've tried that, though. Uh, do we have any other mines? I think we have a pulse mine? No, I thought we did. We have frag grenades. Oh, that's right, we have pulse. Yeah. Is he going to uh, mysteriously not get hit by it this time? Alright. A drink. And have the regular buff out. Actually, wait, where's the shit? The psycho. Here we go. That's the one that lasts a while. Bring it! You wanna There you go. <laughs> that time it block worked. No, what? Don't put your arm down. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he just like like that's it all it is. He just does like a shit ton more damage now. Crit that piece of shit. Piece of shit. And of course he had like a hunting rifle or something. Ass. <laughs> we might be addicted to drugs again. Ugh. Give me some damn hand-to-hand -hand weapons, please game. I did <clears throat> I did find a boxing glove, but it's not very good. Like even buffed up, it's like it's worse than the the brass knuckles we had. Okay, we are still drugged. He had the tongue out like he was still like addicted to something. I don't know if he actually is or what, but he doesn't need it now, so that's all that matters. Uh, noodle cup. Alright, now, I can grab these eggs before they hatch. Nope. Damn it. I want the eggs! Let me hit that thing. Piece of shit. <clears throat> About over here. About over here. Assholes. 
I wanted the eggs! You weren't supposed to hatch. I need those eggs. Like omelets and stuff. Sweet. Got one at least. Oh boy. Let's go ahead and use some Radex. Never mind, I guess it's not going to radiate us. Which, I'm not going to complain about that. Totally fine by me. <laughs> Thank God this is a novice lock. He would have been completely boned. Yeah, I've been trying to think what we're going to build towards, because like I say, for a while we're going to be out of things to put points into. We're going to get... Because we got the third Sweet. level of... Fine baseball, nice. But we got the, um... The third point of Iron Fist. Better be a normal one. Yeah, I like the idea of Legendaries. I just don't feel like they were very well used, honestly. Soap? You wanna come up here, or...? I can just shoot you if you want. Fifty percent shot four times, hit once. Damn you, RNG! It is hitting him, right? Nope. It's hitting him in the shell. Gonna go over here then. Yeah, the AI definitely needs work. Some drugs, shit, Leah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Click the issue of the unstoppables. Permanently gain one percent chance of avoiding all damage. Oh, nice. So we have two percent now. Oh, you should be able to get up here. But yeah, I, I talked earlier about getting that those perks that reduces chance of getting addicted 50% and then removing it entirely. Um, I thought about it, but I just don't think it's going to be worth it. Because I feel like... There's a dead person. Because it's easy enough to get this uh, addiction stuff. And we can also pay a doctor to do it, which is cheaper, I believe, than the drug is. So it's not like enough of a problem that we can't work around it and, you know, be a major issue. There's something else out there. Oh, I think I saw it for like a second. Oops. Sorry, I should have turned on my pit boy. But turn on there he goes. Should have turned on the pit boy light so you guys could see a little bit easier. Drugs! But yeah, man, these drugs are pretty damn good. I mean, obviously stuff like, you know, Psycho and Buff Out, not that useful for range characters. Where is it? Probably a baby. Yeah, there it is. Oh, he actually took a little bit of damage. That's odd. Wait, what? Oh, I was, I, was, I was looking at my health, thinking it was the map, and I was looking for the enemy, I'm like, I'm turning, doing one, like, 360s, and I'm not seeing the enemy. That's because it's your radiation meter, dipshits. Alright, let's turn this in. This is a relatively short quest. God, that freaking legendary. Yeah, I'm definitely not really happy with how they're doing those legendaries enemies. Just like I say, just... Healing to full halfway through the fight, and then all of a sudden doing insane damage is pretty, pretty lazy. Like, again, do something different. Like, it does some weird attack, uh, it disarms you, or, or, you know, does a knockback, I mean, I don't know, something. Not just, it does more damage. I mean, maybe there's things that do that later on, but right now, it's 
definitely disappointing shit. We're gonna have to... Hero Ghouls and Mass Pike Tunnel. Open notice to anyone with a gun and some ambition. Hero Ghoul activity is on the rise near Mass Pike Tunnel. They may not have much in the way of supplies, but they congregate in your areas with guild salvage. Plus, raiding the world of these monsters will bring a smile to your face. Keep what you kill, no other reward given. Wow, that's great. Clear the Feral Ghouls from the Mass Pike Tunnel. Oh, God damn it! we're gonna have to wait on him. Eh, this will give us a good chance, actually, to go to the dugout place. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna sell. And then go rest, so I can get the nice. rested bonus. Never call your mother a synth unless she really is one. Yikes. Huh. <laughs> but anyway, I'll do all that stuff, and then we'll go turn this quest in, and we'll go do another quest, because that only took, like... <sighs> right, we'll see. We'll see. See you in a second. All right, hey, let's go turn in. Ain't no shame in taking the occasional camp. Solomon can hook you up. Solomon, eh? Any luck getting those relics? You know, the future of baseball could depend on them. Got them all right here. <laughs> I like your gumption. Let me take a look. <sighs> this baseball. It's the real deal. You'd sign one of these and give it to the children of anyone you killed on the field. <laughs> look at that card. See those numbers on the back? Tracks the count of enemies beaten to death by the player. <laughs> Check out the letter. People would love baseball much more if this was true. Uh, really good players use them to catch bullets. True fact there. That's everything on the list. Uh, thank you. Far as I'm concerned, you're now a part of baseball collector history. Nice. Nah, didn't give me much experience, but he gave me a ton of money, though. Holy shit, it was like 600 caps? Hell yeah. And God we trust, and all others pay caps. Nice. Alright, so actually we are gonna stop it there. Short of sort, short of, sort of short session today, wow. Anyway, thanks again to Asger for your continued support on Patreon. Make sure you guys leave comments in the comment section below, and I will see you next time.